So in this video we're going to be taking our points from foil sim and loading them into Autodesk Inventor. Now we've already manipulated the numbers in Excel to match with the dimensions that we want our airfoil to be and wing to be. And so we're going to make a new part file by selecting part. And we'll take a second to load so just be patient. All right, so once you make a part, we're going to start a sketch. And so you're going to select start a 2D sketch. And I like selecting the XY plane. And from there, to get the airfoil coordinates in the Autodesk, we have to select this points button under the insert portion of this ribbon. And it looks like a little Excel icon. So I think I put these on my desktop for the glider. And so I'm going to open those points. And when I do that, it's going to import these points into the drawing for me. Um, the next step for me is going to be to connect the dots. And so I'm going to use the line tool to do that. I'm going to select the line tool and kind of zoom in here at the trailing edge of the airfoil and select the point. Now, as you do this, I suggest you hold down the control button and then you're going to work your way around the airfoil. Now, I'm going to skip quite a bit. Just to speed things up, uh, let's see if I can find where I'm going. Now, holding down the, the uh, control button prevents Autodesk Inventor from auto constraining. So, I'm skipping again a lot of these. And so, what auto constraining might look like is it could make lines parallel that you don't want to be parallel, or it could shift your points around. Um, so, again, holding down that control button eliminates that. And again, I'm doing less dots than what I recommend you do, which would be like every other one or all of them. Um, and then we'll close out the shape. So we finished that sketch, and now we have an airfoil profile. And hopefully yours will look a lot better, better than mine because I skipped a bunch of points. Uh, we're going to bring it into three dimensions by extruding that profile. So we're going to select the profile, and extrude it by 12 inches, so it's the actual size of the wing we're making. And once you're done with that, you have your part, your airfoil part, and you made an Autodesk Inventor. The next step for you to, will be to make your your technical drawing with an isometric and orthographic views dimension and to also make a separate document that just has uh, your two airfoil profiles drawn to scale in Inventor. And so I'll show you how to do both of those in the next video.